everyone. I would like to update you about an exciting feature that Squarespace just rolled out. And it's just also a testament to how Squarespace listens to us and how they try to incorporate features that we are uh, requesting in the most stylish, easy way possible. And so just this week, they launched the scrolling banners. And there's so much possibility in using it. I'm so glad they gave us a lot of control. And it now makes sense why they're not they're not keeping the gallery blocks in Squarespace 7.1. And it's that's because they are sharing us this new feature. And we do have a lot of customizations. I think this is best for testimonials. Um, we no longer have to depend on blogs, summary blocks, and even logos like logo reels or logo slideshow. This is such a game changer. So I'm so excited to just walk you through an overview. And then of course, with the CSS knowledge that you'll acquire in the program, we'll be able to customize this further. So just to walk you through how this works, this can be added to any regular page, probably except for collection items. So for example, on this home page, we do have these two options, but they are essentially the same. So I'll just pick this one. So this is where we can activate the scrolling banner or the banner slideshow. I actually have a course that like a mini course about banner slideshow, but of course um, we appreciate that uh, Squarespace made this one built in. And I also call it banner slideshow. So uh, just a quick overview, we can edit the content by clicking on edit content. And then we have the option to uh, make the title visible and the button like the button is like underneath these but i don't think it will make sense for a banner slideshow so in other use cases the these will be handy but we do have the option to like show or not show the the image for example so in this case if i only want to have a testimonial then this will work great um and another great thing is yeah, I think out of edit mode, um, oh yeah, so we only have these controls. Let me just, so edit content and then under content, we can change the content of each. And then we need to like show the image again if we'd like to have control over the image. And then we can also link it to any uh, external or internal link and then other under designs, we can change its layout. Uh, later, I'll show you the other layouts. But for this banner slideshow layout, we have the option for full and set. So most likely you would like the full bleed one. And then the alignment, we can also um, indicate that. And the adjacent slides is just a way for us to create these carousel effect. Like if we'd like to show the next slide. So sorry, it should be added content. And then yeah, infinite scroll, show adjacent slides. And then under style, we can change some of like the text size if we'd like it to be smaller. And then the navigation offset is how close it is to the content. And then you can also customize even the item title to be a lot bigger and the item button to be bigger as well. And then Yes, if I'd like to have a card, I believe they are considering that we need much contrast from the image. So you can activate that card option. And if instead of images, we only want to have like one image, what we can do is not show the image and instead add a background video or add, um, add a background video. So for example, if I have a video, which I'll pull via my Vimeo account, I can make it appear on this slideshow. Probably I don't want, I'm not sure if I'd like to keep the card, but probably I'll, I'll it's best for me to, to change the proportion of our card. But it's such a great testimonial section. So um, you no longer have to have uh, those workarounds by the summary blocks. And then, um, what else? So this is for the banner slideshow. That's just a preview of how we can customize it with a 
with the number of controls that um, they gave us. And then with regard to other designs, so under content, under design, we have the option to use the carousel. So this is another neat feature. So if you'd like to have this, so we can, um, you can choose infinite slide if you'd like to really make the carousel feature prominent. So under design again, infinite scroll, and you'll have this neat carousel effect. And another great feature is it's draggable. It should be draggable when we're out of edit mode. So yeah, it's draggable and that's, that will be really helpful, especially if, if you'd like to add impactful banners. Um, yeah, I haven't really played around all the possibilities, but on itself, um, it's already great. I don't think we need to have like a lot of CSS customizations, but in um, like we still have another one, which is the simple list. And this is where I think we can, we can use um, logos. So instead of pulling via a summary block, or instead of using, so yeah, I'll remove the background video, but um, under, okay, I'm not sure why it's still pulling the video. Let me just save that. So they have the option to have a simple list, which is like a grid. And then under edit content, we can show the item image and it will become a grid. And what's great is they're still using the grid format so we can use our CSS grid modal to have a more stylish take on this um, section. Um, it's, it's a lot better than the gallery section. So if I, for example, try to add a gallery section, we have this one, the gallery section, and our limitation for the gallery sections is that we cannot add easily the excerpt or like the descriptions and title for each. But in this case, we can even add like the text, um, the, the descriptions, and even um, calls to actions. So under edit content, you can add a button for each. So this will be a great feature for our, um, for showcasing our services. And then yeah, there's just a lot of potential here. Let me just, it, it even says content first or media first. So we have the option to have the title or description appear first or stacked first. And yeah, we can um, indicate the number of columns. Oh my, this is so helpful. And then, um, yeah, I think that, that's a great overview of how this works. I'll look into, if you have um, questions about it, if you get confused on which uh, feature or technique to use, please feel free to post inside our community. But yeah, just to let you know about this cool new feature that Squarespace just rolled out.